Hey Facebook, hope you guys are well. It's a beautiful Saturday evening. As many of you know, uh, many people woke up to the tragic news that Slap D had collapsed while performing on stage. We now know that he didn't collapse. He's, he simply missed his step and fell off the stage and fell to the, to the, to the floor. Now, you know that he was performing on stage with the renowned Bobby East and people were wondering why Bobby East kept on singing while his friend was sprawled out <laughs> <laughs> on the ground. Guys, I have the great Bobby East with What's me. Up, well, how are you, man? Nice to see you, Bobby. Good to see you somewhere. So, Bobby, let's go to the beginning. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're on stage. Yeah. At, first of all, did you, had you rehearsed a few days prior with, with uh, Slap D, or uh, had you just gone into it? I don't want to lie. Uh, we've, we've been doing this song for a long time, like the song suggests. So, this particular time, we didn't rehearse the record. Okay. Uh, we know it word for word. Um, right. So, yeah, we just went into it. But, what, but, Bobby, tell me about the layout of the stage because you know i mean you guys perform on many different stages in many yeah. different countries isn't that a concern for you as performers like the layout and the landscape of the stage shouldn't um, isn't that something you should know so this is something that very few people know but my family and close friends know i have the worst eyesight ever so sometimes what we do is when i'm doing a really big show and the stage is kind of tricky we put like tape color tape that I can I can follow and move around and stuff like that um, I think the only difference was I was around a little bit earlier um, for sound check and I kind of saw the the stage was like a t-shaped stage which means that it came out like this and then it branched out a little bit which left some which they do that sometimes but if you can't see and the adrenaline of the performance is kicking and sometimes as musicians wear glasses at night we're being cool it's very easy to miss your step i've yeah. missed my step plenty of times it's just no proof online so basically you're saying because you've done the song so many times yeah i mean you know the song yeah but but slap d wasn't familiar with the uh, the landscape the, 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 the landscape of the stage, of the stage. so yeah. he tripped now yeah. let's let, let's go back to that moment yeah. so you're you're on stage you're doing yeah. your thing magic is popping you guys yeah. are singing you turn around all of a sudden he's not there what are you thinking so <laughs> it's funny now i can laugh because i know he's okay what happened most times if you're performing as a duo you're on opposite sides of the stage so i'm going over this side he's over on this end so I heard like what sounded like cheers or, or like people like gasping or whatever it is. So I turned and like, where's Slap gone? <laughs> <laughs> I really did. If anyone plays back that video, they'll see that I didn't see him fall. I just heard like the crowd and then I turned and I'm looking for him. But I'm, I keep singing. I'm like maybe he's talking to someone on the back. And then I noticed that he is on the ground. And then at this point, I'm like, oh damn, I have to make an executive decision. Do I cut the performance? Is he okay? But at this, actually, what alerted me was uh, Muko from Quito FM, very good guy. He's the one who went to help him up. So in that moment, I'm like, okay, do I cut the performance? But I see him and he's lifting his microphone, and he's he keeps going with the record. So in my head, I'm like, the guy wants the show to go on. And the rest of the videos don't show this, but he comes back on stage and we finish the show. And he, so, goes, he goes on to finish his set. Wow. Yeah. So, he, so, so you turn around, you don't know he's there. Yeah. Or you don't know where he is. I then you realize he had fallen. He's, yeah. he's being helped up. Yeah. And then you see him, he, he gets back he onto gets, the stage. As he's being held up, he is literally has his microphone like as consummate professional and he comes back and we finish the song amazing so bobby tell me yeah. because one of the comments on social media is yeah. that uh, how can bobby east continue singing Munzaka agua what do you yeah. say to that uh like i said man uh first of all i didn't see him for i didn't see him for anyone who knows me knows i'm a slappy <laughs> writer that i didn't see him for 
and by the time I realized what was going on, the, the man was good to go and he wanted to carry on with the show. And the funny, I wish the videos continued because after that, he goes on to do Kui Chaila, which is what you have to do in situations like that, man. You take Kui Chaila. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing, though, uh, all jokes aside, I'm glad I didn't see the fall because when I, I only saw that video once and it traumatized me a little bit. The, the fall was quite high. Yeah, it was. And uh, anything could have happened yeah. in, in all seriousness. And yeah. I'm, just, I'm just happy he's okay. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I was doing a live earlier today and I was saying that I think one of the things that made Bobby, I mean, uh, uh, Slap sort of recover from that was, you know, he's relatively, he's relatively young yeah. and he's energetic. He yeah. takes care of himself. Yeah, you know, guy. anybody who was beyond his age, around 50, that fall, would oh, you oh, really oh, do oh, you oh, in? Or oh, if it was like a, a different angle or something yeah. like that. So we're laughing about it now because he's okay, but it could have been something really, really serious. Yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? So what? I'm just, I'm glad he's okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what they say, <laughs> comedy is tragedy in retrospect. Ooh. Yeah. So when you look back at the tragedy, it's funnier. It's funnier. But, but it's funny only because, like you said, oh, he's okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So one last question. So sure. after the, you, you finished the song, yeah. he goes on to do his set. Yeah. Did you speak to him later on so, that evening? Um, after that, I'm backstage and then he gets done with his set. And this is like, people don't know this about, so he's a great guy. He walks up to me and he's like, yo, I'm sorry I messed up your set. I was like, bro, are you okay? Why are you that kidding? is amazing. I'm like, He's worried about you. He's worried about the set. I was like, no, bro, are you okay? He's like, no, I'm fine. You know, he was okay. We went out for a little bit. We had fun. That's he's, great. No, he's a great guy, man. I'm, I'm really happy he's okay. Well, hey, Bobby, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, no, and thank thanks you. for sharing that. And and I just got such a kick out of the comments when they were saying, Manje Bobby, I am Babuanj, Muzaki Agua. Yo, it's crazy. I always tell this to people. I'm like, anytime you're watching a video of something, it's very different from it happening in, in real life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like in the heat of the moment. Yeah. Because even some of our backhand managers were like, they. some of them stood in shock. They didn't know that to go up and help him. Like it was, it all yeah. happened so quickly. But yeah. like I said, age, man, life is fragile. Yeah. I'm just glad he's okay. Absolutely. I'm Bobby. Okay. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Appreciate Cheers. It. Say bye to these guys. Bye, guys.